this video explores a new collaborative model for testing the cards. As part of the experiment, we decided to exchange projects to gain new insights into our creative blocks. This is a brief description of my course mates project, which I will now use the cards from the deck to develop. I am apprehensive about the deck and how successful it will be in this collaborative test, as I know from experience with the deck, perhaps many of the cards do not directly lend themselves to this means of testing. However, this could still result in an enlightening way of approaching a project, and maybe even work better by forcing me to think outside the box. Dissect elements and storyboard in perspective as a short film. Reassemble. When pushed for time on a project and having a design block, I do not feel I have the time to make a short film as I am unconfident with the software and feel it may take too much time to assemble. I feel a better approach to this card is to diagram the storyboard sequentially. My approach to my course mates project becomes a lot more fluent than the progress I am making with my own. Perhaps this is because I have a lesser understanding of the details of this project and therefore my thinking is not clouded by the smaller issues. I am able to start drawing immediately and very quickly think of a narrative for the project. I develop a live-work axis focused around a central street. I want the design to be as open as possible so that the environment becomes social and adaptive. Looking at my course mate's response to my project, I discovered new creative ways to interpret my concept. The outcome of this exercise explores a new form which I previously did not think of, giving me a different approach which in the end helped me get over my creative block. I think the exercise was a success and the user sketching helped to drive the concept forward. Following a discussion about both projects, it was clear that without the pressure we were both able to play with the design, approaching the concept in a more creative way. I am at a point in my design process where I am facing a creative block. My prediction for the exercise is that by having more fun with my project, I will be able to explore different interpretations of my concept in form, without the pressure of a final drawing, making the outcome more creative and playful. I find that responding to the limited information about my course mates project is much easier than thinking about my own. Without the pressure and knowledge of all current issues they are facing, I begin to sketch out a concept immediately. I begin with an atmospheric storyboard. Through quick sketches I am able to explore the way light can inform user experience. When I finish with the storyboard I look at how it can translate into a form design. This I do quite quickly, perhaps because I am unaware of other limitations and smaller issues my course mate is facing. I feel less pressure on working on someone else's project and my work becomes more fruitful in less amount of time. The ideas presented by my course mate touch on a lot of the thinking I had already had about the project. However, after the video we further discussed the drawings which led to new ideas and insights into the project. Therefore, I feel, although indirectly, the exercise was a success. By applying somebody else's thinking to my project, my thinking becomes a lot more free and I approach creative blocks in a new light. I feel the use of sketching has been successful in this video as I was able to very quickly gain new ideas about my project. I think this way it becomes a quick exercise that can be easily applied in the studio classroom.